Bobby taught me. Pockets getting fatter, man. We excited, exactly, man. Exactly, guys. But today, guys, uh, we actually want to come on here, guys, and just share some knowledge of another type of investment or another type of sector of investing, whatever you want to call it. Another way to park your money and make it work for you, and not you, you know, doing the whole nine to five thing, right? Because that's what we about. We we are educated. And if you guys, you know, this is the first time stopping by, before I go any further, please subscribe, guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Do what you gotta do. Spam Thank you for joining us, by the way. Also, yes, we, we do appreciate your time. Your time is very appreciated, guys. But anyways, guys, without further ado, guys, today's topic will be venture capitalist investing. All right, guys. So basically, in a nutshell, venture capitalist investing is when you invest into startup companies, guys. So if somebody comes pitches an idea, you like the idea, you give us some money to you know to start the fund, right? You invest in the in the in the idea, right? Now, I've done this uh, in the past. I invested into a virtual reality company that uh, one of my friends, relatives, I guess, is a uh, the founder of this company. I like the vision and whatever, right? So I was introduced to this website called wefunder.com, guys. And don't worry, you ain't gotta write that down. I'll leave all the links in the, in the description box, guys. But anyway, guys. So basically, in, in, in this web on this website, you're able to find a lot of startup projects. I think what was the number you saw, Brandon? Over eight hundred thousand startups. Over eight hundred thousand investment opportunities, guys. That you could be, and, and I think like you can invest as little as like a hundred dollars, and, and to get you a piece of a company, right? That could potentially, you know, be the next Amazon. Exactly, guys. Like, Imagine if you could say, "I own part of Amazon." You were an initial investment. And it's the thing: the richest people that get their. Uh, Get riches on the, on the investment side are the initial investors, guys. That first wave of that first wave, right? Of investing, guys. So basically, guys, we want to share some light with you guys. And basically, just give you guys some free game today, guys. So basically, on WeFunder.com, we took our time out of our day to research some companies that maybe we like, right? That we want to share with you guys that seem like a good opportunities to us. And then we're probably going to go park some more funds, right? Some more crypto games in there, right? Mm -hmm. Because, di di you know, di di diversification moves a nation. Cool. Expand your portfolio. Expand your portfolio, guys. So, anyways, guys, without further ado, we're gonna keep this brief for you guys. Brandon actually found this one and kind of read it over to me, and I was like, "Oh, that's that's interesting." And I actually, I never thought of it, right? So, if you want to go ahead and break it down, Brandon. So, the project that I was most interested in after browsing uh, WeFunder.com was a little project called Case Text. All right, guys, and what Case Text really plans to do is they want to make laws and law rules accessible and easy to understand for your everyday person. You understand? Um, how many times have you seen a law document or something from the courts that you didn't quite understand because, so I don't know about you, but I don't speak lawyer, you, you know? And, and, me neither. and so this makes things a lot easier to understand. And I, you know, I'm pretty sure you got people in jail. Free my boy Pookie. Free my boy Leroy. You know, they, maybe they didn't understand their rights. Maybe they don't understand why they're in for why they're in there. Well, you know, uh, you know, off topic. I start telling people not to do those things and get in those situations. But, but if you do find yourself in a situation, or somebody that you don't find yourself in a situation, you can put yourself in a good scenario to where, look, I know my rights. I know what. If this is illegal, I know what you're doing to me is maybe not in the law books, or, or maybe, maybe moral, yeah. or maybe you arrested me for you know probable cause when really in context in the state of law in Texas you don't have you know those rights to do that. So exactly, guys. Could be because the thing about the law enforcers 
they, you know, they, you know, they don't go by the book 100%. It's not not right. always so does. maybe just maybe a loophole where you could maybe research up on case text that you might be able to, you know, they're fine and, you know, help yourself in a situation like that, guys. So I thought it was a very, very clever idea when, when Brandon was pitching it to me. And I was like, you know what? I said, I said, you really like it. You sound you know, a little passionate about it. Let's give, let's give him that one, guys. And the cool thing about this, guys, is lawyers add to this information. Lawmakers add to this information so you know it's valid, you know it's correct, and you know that your rights are actually your rights. So that's the best thing about this yeah, project. Great valid information, guys. Information is very important in this world because you pay for what you don't know. You pay for what you don't know. You know Free one. game. Free game, guys. So check this out, guys. Uh, I, I came across this particular company, and the name of the company is called Drone Deck Corporation, guys. And basically, I, I think they're already kind of test running it, so it's not so much of a, of a startup startup. They already have like a, like a decent amount of capital in it, guys. So basically, the, what, what a Drone Deck intends to do is basically deliveries by drone, right? And if you haven't heard of this, you know, I actually, I think I've heard of it, but it just kind of went through my mind. But when I see this again, on the website, I was like, whoa, this sounds interesting because by the statistics, and don't quote me exactly, go watch the video, but like almost 90% of deliveries are actually pretty light on Amazon and it can be done by a drone, hmm. right? So basically, well, how they're gonna do it is basically they're gonna put a, uh, almost like a mailbox looking, like locker, kind of like the luxury locker that you have in like some uh, luxury apartment. Like parcel locker. Almost. Like parcel lockers, right? And basically this is gonna be like on your, on your lawn, right? Or, I mean, I don't know how they're gonna do it in apartments, but I'm sure they'll figure it out. But anyways, it's gonna be like this box looking thing. Just watch the video, right? I'll do the link. And basically, uh, a lot of these deliveries are gonna be made by a drone, and you know, the drone gets to the top of the box, and you know, it's like some type of authentication. They drop the box in there, and it scans its barcode with you know, the laser looking thing that goes over it. Yeah, I, I'm not an engineer, guys. So. <laughs> but I'm just giving you the best one that I can. I just know that when I see a good, all I know is when I see a good business opportunity, I either jump in it or I tell people about it, right? Mm -hmm. So you up. But anyways, guys. So yeah, so drone day, pretty much in a nutshell, that's what it is. And then uh, if I read it correctly, they already kind of partnered with Amazon, uh, FedEx, and uh, other companies, right, guys? So I mean, I just thought it was interesting for you guys to look at it. I'm actually thinking about putting some of my crypto games because this week has been a crazy week, right? Go check that video out. We tapped the three picks of uh, February. Uh, I want to say one is extremely popped already. Guys, we loving it over here. Spirit fingers. But yes, guys, so like I said, we just thought we'd come on here and uh, oh, and actually, I want to share this before we go. This, this guy's a nut, man. So, so, so I'm telling Brandon, man, I like this one, right? And I'm, I'm explaining to him, man, watch the video. He pauses the video and he's like, he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, I'm going to be just. I'm a paint by gun and just I'm a hood man heart. What can I say? Yeah, so guys, so if your package comes to you delivered with some paint, you might want to go on a case text and, <laughs> and maybe see if uh you know this guy right here. <clears throat> you know. But anyways guys, uh just thought we'd come in and, and just if you didn't know about the concept of venture capitalist investing, it's actually a very it, it tends to be a very lucrative type of investing because you know, if you just do your, like, a little, little bit of research, we've done some research that uh, basically Shaquille O'Neal and the rapper Nas actually invested, you know, they were venture capitalists, initial investors in the private ring, right? Mm. And they have uh, they have done very well for themselves. And you see that on every house now. Exactly. And every and, and, and like I mentioned in, in the beginning of the video, I invested into that virtual reality company last year during the whole COVID stuff, the shutdown. And I started noticing that, you know, virtual reality is like a big thing. That's good. And, and I think they're gonna get even bigger, right? right. So basically guys, uh, ever since then, this company has went and uh, done a Forbes interview and also it's talks of a partnership with Facebook. And according to the valuation of the company, my money has already six to seven X guys. Hmm. On a startup, guys. On a startup, guys. And I haven't done anything but park my money somewhere, guys. So I would strongly suggest that you check out WeFunder.com. And oh, by the way, we're not sponsored by WeFunder or neither of these companies, guys. This is just this is just coming from from our hearts, <laughs> and we want to see you win, guys. Right. So I hope that you appreciate it. But appreciate look, look. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Hey, this ain't financial advice. Y'all do whatever you want to do. My Dogecoin. My Dogecoin, if you want to. <laughs> you love saying that. We ain't. We not. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not. I mean, I don't know. You want to shoot freaking 
Peggy's up there. I don't know about you. If you all must keep pumping, then I might have to do something. You know, just to. Well, I mean, yeah, you know, must be I'll throw three dollars at it. Right, there you go. Hey. Five bucks. Huh, not too bad, right? I think it's worth the capital. Uh, capital gains tax. Anyway, anyways, guys. So yeah, pretty much, guys. Went to come uh, share. Uh, like I said, another form of investing that you may or may not have known about, and maybe a website that you can go because if had you known about this, you probably would have got a little ring or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know I did. Imagine if you could have got an Amazon when it was just a bookstore. Mars. Mars. All right, guys. Well, we're going to leave you with this, guys. So I hope you guys like the video. Once you know what to do. Spam up that like button. All right, guys. Spam up your comments. You know what I'm Subscribe. Yeah, you know and we out of here. You want to talk about our beer in the comment section? I'll talk about that too. Peace.